This Harley Benton is £150. Yep. And it was your birthday present from your wife? I don't know. It was from my family. Like, from they your put family. Some money together, so. so they got you this. You went for this. It's got a roasted maple neck, um, nice cream strat. It's got this cool and nice finish. We did some upgrades. There's a couple of weak points, I'd say, with the Harley Benton. The pickups, they sounded all right. The uh, bridge buzzed. So there was a problem with it. Um, we could have moved the strings around, but we plan to do some upgrades anyway. The tuners, I think they felt a little bit wanky. Yeah, they weren't the best. They were a little, they stayed in tune, but it was, they just didn't feel great. Yeah, so we firstly we replaced the tuners. These are 30 pounds, the Wilkinson Easy Lock ones. So they've got two holes in them. So it sort of locks on itself. Also means you can put the string through the higher hole this end and the lower hole that end. So it's staggered, so you don't actually need these string trees. Right, okay. So you can take those off. One funny thing I noticed when I took the tuners off, um, they clearly had a screw snap or something had gone wrong, and they filled a hole with yeah. like bamboo <clears throat> skewers. That's what I use for filling holes when um, they're just better than matchsticks, I think. You can't see them, but it's just the things you find when you start taking a guitar apart. Yeah. It's just don't think you find that on higher end guitars. Um, one thing to note, I did have to drill out the holes. There were like eight mil holes and I had to turn them into 10 mil holes. But you know, you can change the tuners. And I'd say changing the tuners makes your guitar feel so, like when I tuned it a minute ago, yeah. I was like, well, these feel nice. <laughs> yeah, it definitely really makes a difference. Yeah, good tuners. Also changed the bridge. So the bridge, the bridge was nice. It was a gold bridge. It was a, like a no name or Harley Benton one. Um, it had a, like a, a small steel block on the back. This is a Wilkinson bridge. Love a Wilkinson bridge. Yeah. Um, it's got a full size block. It's just, I don't know, it just feels like it's going to do it the job more. Makes it feel more secure. Makes yeah. it feel like it's a bit more uh, ballsy. And yeah. It, 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 it seems to have completely removed the buzzing. So. Oh, yeah, it fixed that. Um, it, I, I kind of, in my head, it's probably going to do more sustain. We haven't done a test. Leave a comment. Do you think we should do a video that shows the difference between a full thickness strap block bridge and a, like, a thin, cheap one? Saying that, though, you say a thin, cheap one, this was only, what, 30 quid? Oh, it was 30 quid. So... For a full thickness bridge, Wilkinson says so sort of branded. Like, it's but, decent. but if you say thirty with thirty quid, sixty, the guitar yeah. was one hundred and fifty. Yeah. So it's like I'm going to say it's like a two hundred and ten pound guitar. You got to subtract what we've taken off. Yeah. So I'd probably take twenty quid off for that. So maybe it's a you know hundred and eight, hundred and ninety pound guitar at that point. <laughs> and then then we put some <laughs> new pickups in. So Steve had this guitar. He brought it along as a birthday present. It was it plays really nicely. Yeah. And I happen to have a set of custom shop Fender pickups, the Fender Fat 50s, which I put in this. Sounds nice, doesn't it? think of the trans I mean th those cost more than the entire guitar these are about 180 quid and the guitars yeah like 150 definitely a massive with. difference but like you say the the stock pickups weren't bad but these are great a little less drive a little pickup <laughs> so good great set of uh, strap pickups as well. <clears throat> yeah, well, I mean, everyone that heard the Fat 50s in that Fender I had, yeah, everyone com everyone that came in the studio commented on how good they sound, everyone heard it in videos, was like, what are they? When doing the electronics, we shielded the inside with just some copper tape. Also changed the switch, switch looked a bit cheap. The pots looked like fairly good quality pots, I don't think you wear them out, but put a new switch in. But so, electronics are slightly upgraded, but with the pickups, I mean, we spent 250 quid on upgrades and 150 pound guitar. Yeah. However, I'd say it's a perfect like mod platform because everything about it felt great. 
like the neck is one of the nicest necks I've ever played. It is wonderful. It's a nice sort of weight. It's you know, like a normal strat. It's got a gut cut on it. It just feels nice to play. And then just adding those extras just made it a little bit, bit nicer. And you do get, so people often leave comments, when we do like serious upgrades like that, especially the pickups, which are more than the guitar, like I keep saying, people are like, why would you bother? The thing is, it's, I saw this on a Rhett Shovel video the other day. The guy in the guitar shop was saying, like, if you start with a Fender player and start upgrading it, well, you do it bit by bit. So yeah. you go, okay, I'll do the bridge one week, or one month, you know, and then wait a payday or two, do the tuners. You don't just go, you know, you can buy a more expensive guitar or you can have effectively, I mean, this is, Better than the Fender, but it's got the same pickups as my limited edition Fender player. Yeah, well, that's the, the thing. next nicer. <laughs> exactly, but yeah, if I'd have bought a, I guess, player um, Strat version, yeah, that would have been about five fifty, whatever that is or was. Probably six fifty now. Yeah. Well, the, to have those pickups, you have to pay eight hundred quid. The FSR I had was eight hundred. Oh, with the, yeah, now. yeah. So, <clears throat> so this is cheaper that's than that overall. Nicer neck, um, nicer fretboard, the nicer frets, because you don't have the. Yeah. You know, they they roll the fret ends, whereas on the Fender they just snap them off. And <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they do. I'm, that's the worst thing about the Fender player I had is that the the fretboard was really right angled. The frets weren't great, and I had to roll the edges and sort it out. But this was this came perfect, basically. Nothing wrong with it. So. If this £150, we spent about £250 on upgrade, so effectively £400 it would cost you. I know yeah. you could sell the parts we took off, yeah, yeah. but you're only going to get 20 quid back, so is there any point? <clears throat> so we're going to say it's a £400 guitar, effectively, which is about the same price as a Larry Carlton yeah. S7. I know they're about 500 but some of those hands tend to do sales, because yeah, yeah. yours was 400 in a sale. Yep. Yeah. How does it compare to the Lazar? <clears throat> I'd say they're on par, um, but I prefer this neck. Slightly. Wow. Yeah. The, uh, it might just be a special one because of this guitar for whatever reason, but this neck is a really nice shape. It's a really nice feel. All the frets are perfect. Yeah. I really love my Lazar, but uh, and I wouldn't put that neck down either. That is, they do some of the best necks. Like, mm -hmm. so I've got that. I've got the um, the, the bass, bass as well. Which Marcus, is the Miller, Marcus Miller one. Jazz um, one. Pink. Burgundy. Like, I'm st <laughs> I'm almost considering just having Sire guitars now. They are phenomenal. With the obviously the ones I've got because this 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 I'd seen this for a while, like really long time, and decided I need to get it. And then my wife obviously it, got it for my birthday. It's like, particularly it. pretty, yeah. <clears throat> and it felt exactly how I thought it was going to. And it's it maybe it's a one off on this range. Maybe this this particular guitar range is better than all well, the others. I've played a lot of Harley good. Bentons now. I mean, some have had slight issues. Some have had like minor things. Yeah. But there's never been one I thought. These are bad. I don't think I've ever paid more than two fifty. And you know, I've bought some of the B stock. You think you'd find some faults with them? Yeah, I've definitely been very lucky because I've only got two Harley Benton guitars, and they're both great. Mm. But this is the best guitar I've ever played, bought, or seen for one hundred fifty quid. And then obviously those upgrades have made it just a lot better. Yeah, and you've said you've played it loads, and those pickups sound phenomenal. Yeah, they really sound phenomenal. Um, I know it's a bit of a serious upgrade. Those pickups, you can get cheaper pickups, but those are like in our top tier yeah you didn't need pickups. to put those in and yeah, when I heard you got this for your birthday I was like okay yeah. this is a, this is a keeper guitar yeah and I had a set of pickups that weren't in a guitar which I knew yeah, yeah. everyone loves yeah. I was like we've got to put them in it right the bridge <laughs> Yeah. Really, really nice to play. That it's just it. the argument between if you buy a cheaper guitar and then put great pickups in it, if the cheap guitar isn't nice to play, then that makes it not worth putting the pickups in. But this <coughs> guitar is pretty much perfect. I wouldn't change anything on the feel and the way it plays. It, it's all in the neck. Yeah. Because anyone can do in, a body. Yeah, and you just add in the pickups and it's just... If, if you bought this off the shelf... Pickups without, and tuners, I yeah, always do. Take Harley Benton off of it. Sell that to someone, that's thousand pounds easy. Harley Benton do great necks, Sire and Chapman. They're my How's, three favourites. You've got a Telecaster Fender Pro 2. I don't know, it's not a Pro 2. It's a special. Okay. Fender American Special, I think it's called. Okay, they're about a grand, 1200 quid yeah, a few around. years ago. How's that neck compare to that, like fretboard it's and frets? It's really nice. I wouldn't say it's any different. <laughs> so it's like, you it, could, it's you different. could do four of those with the upgrades <coughs> yeah, of the price of It's that. different as in, this is a maple neck with a maple fretboard, that's a Roasted. maple neck with a uh, rosewood fretboard, I think. 
so it's a slightly different feel but and that's gloss this is satin so it's slightly different in that way but they're both quite nice but if you blindfolded someone and then put those two against each other you wouldn't say that's the thousand pound one and that's the hundred and fifty pound one it's better, well there's no way if the setup's good yeah i think it's really yeah, exactly the, if the setups and the good and the pickups are good yeah like it'd, it'd be good to get pete around one day and just do yeah, something definitely. awful like that like because we we trip them up because we modify everything so much. Yeah. I just think if you if a guitar feels good, you'll play it better. You'll if you like, like the guitar it, more. Make it sound make better. It, anyone can like give that to I don't know any guitarist. Give it to Pete. He'll make it sound like the best guitar that there is, and it's 150 yeah. quid. Like forget the pick. Even if we hadn't changed the pickups, like give it to a good guitarist. They'll make it. Set of tone great. riders. What are they? 100 quid. Yeah. yeah. Should you upgrade your Harley Benton? Yeah. Yeah. You should do. You definitely should, as long as it's good to begin with. If it's yeah. like massively faulty, you know. To be honest, if the neck doesn't feel right, sack it off. If the neck feels right, you can change everything else. Yeah, exactly. I've considered buying more Harley Bentons just to get the neck. Here's a video on a Squire Affinity upgraded. Uh, again, it's pickups, tuners, bridge. Did some other cool stuff. Just shows you what you can do on a Squire. Similar sort of thing, but from a slightly different angle. In fact, the pickup change was very different to this. Um, definitely worth a watch. Thank you for watching.